Hello and welcome to this shoulder mobility workout. We're gonna start off with some classic shoulder stretch. So for this, you're gonna open your arms to the sides wide and then you're gonna bring your right arm across your chest, putting it with your left hand all the way closer to your chest. Try to lower your shoulder as you can see in the video. Do not keep it up. Try to push it away from your ear and pull your arm with your left hand. We're gonna breathe here, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. You can open and close your hand. You would need to keep your elbow straight. Now you're gonna open again and do the same thing with the other side. So now left arm across your chest, lower the left shoulder and pull with your right hand. You can open and close your hands and keep your elbow straight. You're gonna feel this stretch on your back, around your deltoids and your upper back. You can also move the neck a little bit. I like to do this, so I try to find small places where it might feel a pinch or stress, and I just try to stretch it out, move and feel into it. So take a breather now. Somebody rang the door, I'm gonna quickly open it. For our next stretch, we're gonna do another classical one, which is gonna be arms up. So we're gonna breathe as we bring our arms up to the sky. After that, our right hand is gonna grab our the back of our neck, and with our left hand, we're gonna pull our right elbow. Here, you'd like to push the elbow to the sky. So you wanna separate your shoulder, and imagine you are trying to pull the shoulder upwards and to the middle. For the other side, we start again, hands up to the sky, and then our left hand goes to our neck and our right hand pulls the left elbow. Here, you'd like to keep your back straight. Do not let your neck collapse. Breathe into your stretch we're gonna hold these for 30 seconds all right good we just did our first two stretches i'm gonna rotate my shoulders behind and forward for our next stretch we're gonna interlace our fingers and then bring them all the way to the front here we want to separate our scapulas as much as we can we're pushing forward, we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. And when we're done, we're gonna change the, uh, the interlace of our fingers. So if the right hand was on top of the left hand, we're gonna put the left hand on top of the right hand and do it again, as you can see in the video. Here you want to keep your back stretched. Start by getting your scapulas together and then press outwards, trying to bring your shoulders forward Imagine you're trying to touch the camera in front of you. The next one, we're gonna bring it and then we're gonna put our counter palms forward. So interlace our hands and then we're gonna push forward the same way, separating our scapulas, but it's gonna be our counter palms going forward. Change the position of your hands and do it again with your palms. Your palms are gonna be facing to you and your counter palm is gonna be facing forward. This is gonna spread our shoulders. Feels great on your upper back, at least for me right now. You can see my smile. I'm really having a good time right now. For the next stretch, we're gonna put our left hand on our lower back and slightly minimally, we're gonna pull that elbow rotating outwards. This is going to be really light, don't pull too hard. This is a very deep stretch. Works really good on your scapula. Now we're going to do the other side. Breathe in and exhale. You can see right on the small video how my scapula is open. This feels really good when you have a little bit of pain or pinching on your deep scapula. This opening really helps on that. Try looking away, moving your neck 
slightly and slowly you will find places of stress and you can stretch into it. For the next stretch we're gonna go into O fourth and we're gonna start by stretching our hands. First we're gonna rotate our hands outwards and place our fingers facing towards our knees. Once we're there we're gonna bring the hips back a little bit, not too much. This is gonna put a lot of stress on your wrists. So try to do it slightly, slowly, with a lot of care. We're gonna, we're gonna stay here for 30 seconds. Keep your elbows stretched. Do not let your head collapse. Press through your shoulders as you're doing a push-up or a plank. Then we're gonna get back to standard position and also place our fingers facing our knees, but this time our palms are gonna be facing upwards. Same thing, don't let your chest or your head collapse. Keep your elbows straight. Rotate your arms so your elbows are, are facing or as close as they can to facing your thighs or your knees. All right, a couple more seconds. You can open and close your hands. And we're finished with this one. To strengthen our forearms or on our palms, we're gonna do some hand push-ups. So from this position, just press into your fingers, getting up and down. Try to use the minimum assistance from your hips, which is gonna strengthen those forearms and the wrists. After this, we're gonna go into some scapula push-ups. First, we're gonna do both arms. So for the starting position, we're gonna breathe in, and let our scapulas get together on our spine collapsing our back and then for the exhale we're gonna push up trying to round our back like a cat we're gonna do 12 repetitions or 30 seconds in with both arms so as you can see with the inhale we go down letting our scapulas touch at the back of our spine and on the exhale we push out and try to separate our scapulas as much as we can once the 30 seconds are done, we're gonna put the left hand behind our back and we're gonna do the same thing with only the right hand. This is gonna go for 15 seconds. Same thing with the right hand, focusing on only one arm. Once we're done, we're gonna do the same thing with the left arm. You should try to rotate your arm in a way that your elbow is facing your thigh and you're hiding your armpits. This is the most stable position for your elbow and your shoulder. This is gonna safely take care of you away from injuries. Once we're done, we're gonna place the left hand on the ground and with the right hand, we're gonna reach forward and let our hand rotate all the way to the right and place it behind your back. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. I like to call this around the world. So this is gonna be forward, hand facing up, rotate it all the way to the counter palm placed on your lower back. 15 seconds of this, and then we're gonna do the other hand. 15 to 30 seconds per side. Usually works around to three or four full repetitions. Try to do this slowly and controlled. You don't want to do this too fast. You want to feel the full range of motion as you do this exercise. Try to keep your core engaged and the hand that's on the ground, it's pressing down and it's not opened. Once we finish with that, we're gonna take a second here in child's pose to relax 
there was a lot of stress put onto our shoulders. Take a breather. For the next exercise, we'd like to go with our chest on the floor. So full flat chest on the ground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push into Sphinx and we're gonna thread one arm, this time the right arm in front of our shoulder, in front of our chest. And then the left arm will go crossed to the other side on top of it. So this is like crossed arms in front of our chest and we let the weight of our torso spread the arms apart. We're gonna hold this for a minute per side. We're gonna start here with the left hand on top of the right. Doesn't matter which one goes first. And we're just relaxed. This is a very passive stretch. Try to find a place where you're not feeling pain and just breathe into it, relax, and let the weight of your body do the stretch for you. You can open and close your hands as I'm doing right now. Once the minute has passed, we're gonna bring ourselves back up and then pass the left hand through our chest and the right hand on top of it. Same thing, just allow yourself and the weight of your torso to press your shoulders apart and open that back of your spine. Good, we're finished with this one. For now, we're gonna do a scorpion twist. This is full spine and lower back. We're gonna stretch the left hand. And we're gonna look to our right side. We're gonna lift our right foot. Then we're gonna lift our right knee. And then we're gonna twist all the way to the left side, trying to place our foot on the ground. Stabilize yourself with your right hand on the floor and if you're feeling stable and you're feeling good you can also use that right hand reach it all the way to the sky and then place it on your lower back you do not have to do this position you can stay in the, the position before this this is going to be a full blown out stretch on the shoulder but this time we're focusing on the front side of our shoulder and opening the chest, which can also get a lot of tension, not only our back. Our shoulders are the joints with the most mobility in our body, so make sure to get it from every angle. Sometimes pain comes from weird spots, so we try to get every angle you can. Okay, so once we do a minute, we come back the same way we came in, place the hand on the ground, and then twist your leg all the way into a flat position. Then we're gonna stretch the right hand to the right. We're gonna lift, look to the left, lift the, leg, the left foot, the left knee, and then twist all the way to your right side, placing that left foot on the ground. First, you're gonna feel your feel stability, try to ease into the position. Once you've found yourself around 15 or 20 seconds into the position and you're feeling stable, no pain, you can try to lift your arm up, rotate the shoulder and place your left hand behind your back. Hold this position for a full minute.
Remember always to breathe, letting your body know that you are safe in the position, relaxing your muscles and letting you stretch and fall deeper into this shoulder opener. Once a minute has passed, you can come back the way you got in, placing the hand on the ground, twisting back and placing your knee and then your foot on the ground. For our next stretch, we're going to interlace the hands behind our back and push ourselves up or we'll pull ourselves up. We're going to change the interlace. So change the position of your hands and do it again. We're going to do it for about 10 to 15 seconds per side. Try to get your scapulas all the way together. Finally, we're going to go into a child's pose then into a downward facing dog and then we're just gonna go to sitting here I laid down for a second this was a very good shoulder stretch I had my shoulders very tense for trying to do a lot of push-ups the other day so this one helped me a lot I hope it did the same for you so at the end I just like to say thanks to myself to my body sit down and just spend a couple seconds thanking myself from, for taking the time of the day into doing this practice and thanking my body for letting me move around and have some fun. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a like for more content like this. Hope to see you next time. Stay moving.